Welcome to the another video of C++ programming course. In this video we will solve some C++ exercises. This is C++ exercise set 1. And our first program is create a program which takes the values of a and b as input and evaluate the equation a square plus 2ab plus b square. I have written the basic code of C++. I will declare two variables and I will declare another variable ends in which we will store the result. Now I will take input from the user of variable a and b. Now I will evaluate the equation. For the squaring of a number, we will multiply its number a multiplied by a. This is equal to a square. For squaring, we will do this plus 2a2 multiplied by b multiplied by b. And also squaring b, we will do like this b multiplied by b. For squaring, I am closing these values, these expressions in brackets so program run fine. Now I will print the result of this equation. So if I give the value of a2 and also b2, the result is 16. Again, if I give 2 and 4, its result is 36. So it's working correctly. Another program is create a program which converts temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So it's also very easy. I will take the value of Celsius from user and store in F. Celsius multiplied by 9 divided by 5 plus 32 so this is formula of converting celsius to fahrenheit if i give celsius 100 and fahrenheit is 212 and if i give celsius 40 Fahrenheit is 104 so this is done let's do another program create a program which takes the values of a and b as input and addition subtraction multiplication and division on both values on both values so I am taking value of A and B and I am creating another variable and C in which we will result of two variables I am committing so you can understand this is for addition B I will print the result
subtraction multiplication division so it's very easy not difficult I forget the semicolon if I give value of a 2 10 and value of b 5 I have given the slash n for new line So addition of 5, you know, 10 and 5 is 15 and I have uh, multiply by 10 by 5 its result is 50, 50 and if I divide 10 by 5 it's 2 so these are values are correct let's run this again So this is also correct. So that's all for today in which we solve some exercises.